Hi, my name is Suzanne Grandy. I am a certified master groomer and I like to share my passion for grooming with you. I am here with a nine month old Viva Terrier puppy. As you can see, his ears are flopping. This is due to the fact that he has too much hair on his ears and that is holding his ears down. So we need to get rid of the weight of the hair on his ears. For this, I'm going to use a 15 blade on an Artero Spectra 4-in-1 clipper. I have this process slowed down so that you can see clearly what I'm doing. I have my thumb on the outside of the ear and I have my fingers on the inside of the ear. I'm going to use my index finger to slide up the ear as I clip it. So with my thumb on the outside, my finger on the inside, I'm going to go straight up the middle of the ear. Slide the clipper and my finger up with the ear leather in between. As you can see, he threw his head back, but I had a very light touch. And I go back in and secure the ear again. I'm not holding him by the ear, I'm simply keeping the ear safe. Index finger on the outside, thumb on the inside. Clipper going straight up the middle. My index finger is going to slide up with it. This is in very slow motion. He's throwing his head back, which actually enables the clipper to slide up the ear and works to my advantage. We'll switch to the other side. Here the camera is not slowed down. You can see it in real time. It is scary because they wiggle so much. They don't like the noise of the clipper and the vibration so close to their ears. So I'm using my fingers as guides to keep the ears safe. Now his ears are going up nicely because the weight of the hair has been taken off. That's a good boy. What a good boy you are. So I need to get the edges, so I'll start from the center and work out towards each edge. Go straight up from the middle and then straight out to the edge. Good boy, you're okay. Stay on the table. Good boy. Wait. He is showing signs that he doesn't like it. And I'm being very gentle and reassuring. He's looking at me like, what did you do that for? I don't understand. <laughs> He's saying, stop it. Just stop it. So I think I'll give him a break from that and move on to something else. It's a good boy. Yes, you're a very good boy. I love you. Yes, I love you. So now we're going to go give him a bath and we'll be right back. So now that he's had his bath, we'll work on the final trimming. Viva Terriers typically do not get the hair trimmed around the corners of the eyes unless the pet owner requests it. We keep the ponytail long and the hair tied up out of the eyes and trim around the feet. I do not trim around the feet too tight. I like big fat feet. Unless of course an owner requests that I do it shorter. I'm going to scissor around the edges of the ears to make sure that they're nice and tight and clean. Make sure we can get the comb through the entire dog as we go. He's a good boy. 
He's doing very good for a nine-month-old puppy. And his owner has been doing such a wonderful job keeping him brushed and conditioned. Good boy. Since 1984, the Biva Alapompon, as the breed was originally known, has provided enjoyment to those which brought them into their lives. Bevas have a wonderfully sweet disposition and are the perfect family pet, whether one resides in the country or in a high rise in the city. The Biva originated in Hunstruck, Germany in 1984. The phrase a la pompon is French and translates a tassel or colorful ball of yarn, which describes the dog's hair color perfectly. As I do the final finish work, you'll notice that I do comb a lot. I keep bringing his hair straight down to the sides, making sure it's laying flat. Down near the feet, I'll trim off any hair that looks out of place for the length of coat that he has. And I don't need to use clippers under his tail. I'm just going to scissor the hair off that might get messy. I am spritzing on some eye groom detangling spray to help set his part. As I start this process, I will brush all the hair down with a Madden pin brush from the neck to the tail. Going straight down, this will help the comb to go through the hair easy when I set the part. Now I will use the comb and comb the hair in the same direction that I just brushed it. Comb it straight down towards the tail. And I'll use one end prong of the comb to make a part halfway down the dog. And now I'll do the other half of the dog. And I pick the hair off to the sides, going in the direction that I want it to go, straight down. So now he has a nice part. And I'm going to spritz his hair one more time. Comb the hair off to the sides to go straight down towards the floor. Then use my hands to pull it all down flat. This will keep his hair in place for several hours at least. Now I will just check over him with the comb, make sure there's no tangles anywhere left in his hair. Make sure all that his hair is in place. Tidy up any loose ends. The Beva Terrier is relatively small, basically comparable to the size of their forefather breed, the Yorkshire Terrier. Most weigh in the range of 4 to 8 pounds and range in height from 7 to 11 inches fully grown. The Beva Terrier is very energetic and loves to play, as well as receive endless amounts of affection. Though these dogs are fairly intelligent, they can be stubborn, which makes training them a little more difficult than normal. So one final comb through. Tidying up as we go. What a good boy. Very good. Yep, you. Yeah. Beaver Terriers have a piebald colorization, meaning they have irregular patches of colors. 
Usually their coloring includes white or bluish white patches over white fur on their chests, legs, and undersides. Their faces usually have black and tan coloring. Beaver Terriers can be a bit yappy and do not warm to strangers quickly. The Beaver Terrier is considered hypoallergenic and needs daily brushing. Although Beaver Terriers tend to get along with children fairly well, they are small and can be easily injured during play. It's important that children are instructed on how to safely play with small dogs. Supervision is a must. These dogs are highly adaptable to most living situations and do well in apartments or large homes. Though they are a terrier breed, they do not possess the terrier tendencies of strong prey drive or digging behaviors. They are also able to live in apartments and homes with or without backyards. As a Beva Terrier is a descendant of the Yorkshire Terrier, they might be predisposed to some of the same health conditions as their forebearers face. While most are generally healthy, some may be prone to a few health issues, which is why it is important to maintain good care and regular veterinary checkups. They may have GI tract sensitivity, bouts of diarrhea, frequent discolored or soft stool, and dental issues. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see you again next time. Click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video.